hour to get from Zhengzhou to Changsha, we took the night train. We got to the train station and almost got stampeded by herds of local passengers. There was a little confusion as to where our car was. But when we finally found it, As the train was pulling up to the station, I could see it was a bit more crowded than the uh, leg we had done from Beijing to Zhengzhou. And uh, in the regular seated cars, I could see just a ton of people. So I was really glad that our tickets were for the private sleeper car. We're getting on the night train to Changsha and leaving Zhengzhou. We had a great time in Zhengzhou, and we're looking forward to Changsha. We had was actually four bunks in a little room, you know, with its own door off the hallway in the car. So it was kind of it was a really nice way to travel actually. After we got our bags on, one of the managers on the train asked us if we wanted to go into the um, restaurant car. They had already closed, but they're making some dumplings. And so we actually got to learn how to properly fold dumplings. They brought a big bowl of pork over to the table and uh, these small round dumpling casings and chopsticks and sat down next to us and showed us how to take a measured amount of pork and put it in the center of the casing and okay. run our fingers around the edges with a little dip of water and fold it up. Folding it, you kind of do these little accordion folds and put it down so it looks very pretty and the filling stays in when you boil them. <laughs> Um, it took a few tries to get it right, but in the end, I think my dumplings came out really, really well. I think they had as much fun teaching us as we had learning. So we did our job, we did our job, and then uh, little did we know we actually had to eat the product. So they boiled them, it only took a couple minutes, they brought them out, and we had to eat half a dozen dumplings before we could go to sleep. Although I was already still stuffed from dinner, you know, you got to eat the dumpling you make. So. Picked it up, dipped it, and uh, had another meal. That's good. They were tasty, they were really good, and they stayed together, I think. I mean, it might be that they just left the ones that had broken up back in the kitchen so that we could save face. You know, I wrote for a little while and journaled today's thoughts, kind of decompressed from Zhengzhou and put my thoughts together for Changsha. After the six dumplings, I fell asleep pretty fast. Uh, and the rocking, the rocking of the train always puts me to sleep. Like I, when I was in school in New York City for a few years, I used to almost fall asleep on the subway in the middle of the night because the rocking puts me to sleep. I tried to stay awake. <laughs> for when we crossed the Yangtze, but I fell asleep a little bit before that. It was a lot like camping, you know, I like curled up in a bunk, just bumping across the plane, you know, taking life really slow. So finally, late, I curled up and went to sleep, I was absolutely exhausted, so I just passed right out, you know, train bumps rocking me, just like a baby in a cradle. I slept straight through the night, uh, didn't get up until probably about 6.30 in the morning, looked out the window to see just where we were. Uh, it was dark when we got on the train, so I hadn't seen anything out the window really until this point. And I looked out and it was the weirdest way to start the day because the sun was really low on the horizon, it had just come up, and it was the brightest fluorescent red I've ever seen a sun be. It was the weirdest looking sun and it almost looked like someone had switched the color palette and I was in some like alternative universe. Anyway, all was good. I was still in China. We were getting off the train at about 7.30, so I pretty much had enough time to brush my teeth and get all my stuff back in my bag uh, before we got off.
unfortunately, we didn't quite know which stop was ours. <laughs> when we came to the train station, it was like, ready, go. <laughs> and off we went, grabbed our bags, yeah. booked off the train, and met Changsha. When we got out of the station in uh, Changsha, the front of the station, the outside, where it's also a bit of a bus station for people making connections, it was just chaos. It was crazy. There were a whole bunch of buses lined up. There were taxis zipping all over the place, people picking their friends up, scooters, bicycles, cars. It was nutty. So uh, I was really happy that I had gotten my wits about me. <laughs> <laughs>